The following program is brought to you by Element 14, the electronic design community where you can connect and collaborate with top engineers from around the world. Join now at element14.com. Welcome back to The Learning Circuit. I'm Karen, and today we're going to learn how to read resistor values. Many electrical components are marked with their values, but since parts can get quite small and numbers can get quite large, sometimes those values are written in a code. Before we try to understand those codes, let's look at how we determine how many zeros are in a number by understanding the prefixes used in electronics. Here's a chart for the names of the prefixes used in the metric system. In reference to electrical components, the most commonly used prefixes are kilo and mega for whole numbers, and milli, micro, nano, and pico for decimals. You'll notice the powers of those numbers are all multiples of three. Values get abbreviated by shifting the decimal place over by those multiples of three. For resistors, we mostly use kilo and mega. Here is a list of standard resistor values. Compare the abbreviated numbers to those on the prefix chart. A resistor that is 4,700 ohms is called 4.7 K ohms or kilo ohms. A 100,000 ohm resistor is 100 kilo ohms. A 1 million ohm resistor is 1 mega ohm. There are through hole resistors and surface mount resistors. Through hole resistors have colored bands on them. Resistors use a color coding system to indicate their value as well as their tolerance. As we learned in the resistor episode, tolerance is the accuracy or margin of error of the resistor rating, ranging anywhere from a fraction of a percent up to 20%. Here is the color code chart. Black, brown, then the colors in order of the rainbow. Red, orange, yellow, green, blue, violet, followed by gray and white, followed by gold and silver. We can use this chart to determine the digit, multiplier, or tolerance that the color band represents. Resistors can have a varying number of bands on them. We'll focus on four and five band resistors as they are the most common. On a four band resistor, the first two stripes are combined together to form a number between one and 99. The third stripe is the multiplier and the last marks the tolerance. On a five band resistor, the first three stripes get read as a single number while the fourth stripe is the multiplier and the fifth band represents the tolerance. Most five band resistors are precision resistors with tolerances of 1% or 2% indicated by a brown or red band on the far right. While most of the four band resistors have tolerances of 5% or 10% indicated by a gold or silver band. If the resistor has no fourth tolerance band, then the default tolerance would be 20%. There are resistors with a single black band. These are zero ohm resistors. Since they have the same package as other resistors, they can easily be placed on a PCB by automated machines. They're often used as wires simply just to connect traces. Let's look at some four and five band resistors and figure out their values. Here are 100 ohm resistors. The four band is brown, black, brown. The five band is brown, black, black, black. Here are 330 ohm resistors. The four band is orange, orange, brown. The five band is orange, orange, black, black. Here are 4.7 kilo ohm resistors. The four band is yellow, purple, red. The five band is yellow, purple, black, brown. Here are 10 kilo ohm resistors. The four band is brown, black, orange, and the five band is brown, black, black, red. And lastly, here's a 220 kilo ohm resistor. The four band is red, red, yellow, while the five band is red, red, black, orange. Notice that with each pair, the first two stripes are the same colors, while the third and fourth stripes change to account for the amount of zeros needed. While banded through-hole resistors are color-coded, surface mount resistors are instead marked by a short series of numbers and letters, usually three or four. Their coding is similar to that of banded resistors, where the first two digits are significant and the last digit represents the multiplier. Let's take a look at a few. Here is an SMD resistor labeled 510. The first two digits are significant and the third digit indicates how many zeros to add. This resistor says 51 with no zeros added, making it a 51 ohm resistor. A resistor labeled 101 equals 10 plus one zero and is a 100 ohm resistor. 
Here is a chart with more three-digit codes with their values. The last digit tells you how many zeros to add. 222 equals 22 plus two zeros, which equals 2,200, which is 2.2 kilo ohms. 103 equals 10 plus three zeros, which is 10,000, which is 10 kilo ohms. 305 is 30 plus five zeros, which is three million, three mega ohms. Here is a chart of four digit codes. As you can see on this chart, the third number on nearly all four digit resistors is zero. Let's put the two charts side by side and compare. For a two kilo ohm resistor, the three digit code is 202, while the four digit code is 2001. For a 36 kilo ohm resistor, the three digit code is 363, while the four digit code is 3602. For a two mega ohm resistor, the three digit code is 205, while the four digit code is 2004. Some surface mount resistors come in values that include a decimal, such as 0.33 ohms or 4.7 ohms. Decimals can be difficult to read if a resistor gets old or dirty, so an R is used in place of the decimal. Here is a chart with resistor codes that use R. Note that R can be before the number, like R33, which is 0.33 ohms, or in the middle of the number, like 2R4, 2.4 ohms. Notice that in four digit codes, the R can be the third digit, indicating that the first two digits are the true value of the resistor. 75R0 is 75.0, which is 75 ohms. When shopping for surface mount resistors, you may see some other codes in the item description. Here's a chart of some of the series of letters you may see. The most common you'll see in here are SMD for surface mount device and SMT for surface mount technology. You may also see a number representing the size for the resistor. Here are the imperial and metric codes for the various surface mount resistor sizes. The codes are named for the length and width of the resistor, inches in imperial and millimeters in metric. Today we covered how to read resistor codes to learn the values of resistors. If you have any questions or comments about resistor codes, please post them on the Element 14 community on element14.com forward slash the learning circuit. Happy learning!